Good morning, Magandang Umaga, and welcome to yet another episode of My PI Dream. Today is Monday, and it is build date 166. Yes, build date 166 on the construction schedule out at Villa Feliz. Today, mm, tiling, I think, <laughs> and that CR inside the basement, because that waterproofing only needs 24 hours to dry. It was done on Saturday, and this is Monday. Uh, but... I hope they don't get started with the tile until I get back because I have to run into town today. Remember that BDO transaction from BDO to the other bank for the cabinet maker? Uh, I wasn't able to do that on the holiday on Friday, so I'm going to do that first thing this morning. So we're going to do a quick trip into town, uh, do some banking, and then we are going to get back to the build site and watch the, uh, hopefully watch the tiling get done inside there. There's plenty of tiling that's got to be done inside there. And it really should only be a one day kind of thing, but it's possible that it might not even get started. Maybe the flooring will get done, but the wall stuff probably won't get done because my builder has to match up the corner uh, edging that goes for the tile inside there. And he hasn't selected the, uh, um, the finishing for that yet. He has to match it up with the tile. So mm, the walls probably won't get done today, but maybe the floor. So uh, I'm excited about that. Well, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get out to the build site. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. Hi, sweetie. How are you? How are you? How's everybody today? I have, I have nothing. I have no candy and no bread. You guys ate all my bread yesterday. All my bread. Hi, Mark. Good morning. Sunny day. It's going to be a beautiful day, I hope. As hopefully, it's going to be a good day for building today. Good morning. <laughs> Give me father. Morning, Michelle. Morning. How are you today? Good. How was ballet yesterday? Good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> for good for good for, good for Gabby or good for Roy? Both. For both. <laughs> All right. I'm a, I'm a, I'm running. Some, uh, two kinds of banana, different variety. Oh. Two different are those regular eating bananas? Yeah. Uh, how much? No, no, no. No. Ah, this is my lunch today. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Well, they look good. What's the What's the name of these? It's not Lakatan. Yeah, it's Lakatan. It is Lakatan. It's a miniature. Oh, it's a miniature Lakatan. It's a smaller one than. than. It is for baby. Good oh. for baby. Oh, good for baby. Yeah. yeah. Do I look like a baby? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. I, 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 yeah, I, I, I'm gonna eat the. I, I really didn't have much of a breakfast this morning. I just had some granola and yogurt this morning. So mm -hmm. I'll, I'll eat some of this before I go into town. I gotta go in. Ah, oh, uh, and it's riper too. That's probably why. Well, great. It's, a, it's gonna start out my morning fantastic. Well, anyway, I gotta tell you, yesterday was an absolutely beautiful day. It was perfect. The sun was out. It was blue skies. Uh, so what I did was I spent some time down at the Bay Kubo and uh, I went swimming. I went swimming at the, uh, uh, the, the clubhouse a pool that they had down there. Uh, so I did a little bit of swimming and I had, I had one, of the, uh, uh, one of the subscribers who is interested in some of the lots out there, which I often get uh, requests for evaluation of lots and things like that. So if you're interested in a lot out at Tierra Maria, just let me know. Send me a private uh, email. And uh, if you're serious about uh, looking at lots, let me know and I can assist you uh, with doing personal site selection for lots as well. So anyway, at the end of today's video, uh, for my friend that uh, is, is looking at lots, there's going to be a few evaluations and it, it's going to be drone evaluations of lots and I will speak directly to him. I did a Skype session with my friend uh, this weekend. We spent about an hour online and we talked about uh, the lots and, uh, and what they're looking for and things like that. So uh, if, if you're interested in seeing some of the lots, what I plan on doing is from time to time on Sundays, 
I will pick two or three lots and I will do a drone over overview and uh, and you you can get an idea of some of the lots that are available out there. Uh, the pricing will be based upon whatever the current pricing is. So since the videos will remain for quite some time, uh, you, you can always check or send me an email and I can let you know what the pricing is. So anyway, that's what I did this weekend and it was very relaxing. And then uh, last night I went back to the apartment and uh, when the water finally came back on, uh, I was able to get a shower and relax and, uh, and chill out for the rest of my Sunday. But, but we are back to Monday, the beginning of the work week, and we need to get back into our uh, mode. Morning. And we need to get back into our, uh, uh, our building again. This is our first, our first column. <laughs> Everything is moving forward on the job site. It seems like we have a smaller crew than normal. I, I have to check the numbers, but we do have the roofing team on on the roof doing what they need to be doing. That's the main thing. That's the main focus today. I also checked with my builder this morning, and he said it's gonna, probably going to be later on this afternoon that we do the tile in the uh, basement, which is perfect for me because I'm going to be gone all morning uh, taking care of banking business. So that's a good thing, and I want to be there for that. So uh, let's go ahead and run into town and uh, get the, this bank transaction taken care of so we can start the process for getting cabinets and uh, then we'll get back out here to Villa Feliz. Anyway, the reason I came in the handyman today was I was looking for the leaf blower. They don't have leaf blowers here. Uh, I think it's maybe it's an alien kind of a uh, concept, <laughs> blowing leaves around your yard around here. So anyway, I think we can find it somewhere, but not here at handyman. But what I also needed here, I need something to get rid of like ants, 
in the apartment, things like that. Because you know, they don't put seals around the doors. They don't have uh, door seals and uh, thresholds and things like that that stop insects from getting inside. So I'm gonna grab the stuff called X Terminator. <laughs> An exterminator you take and you mix this. It's one of these with two liters of water, so we use a portion. And they have these bottles here, and uh, we'll mix our we'll mix our own uh, concoction together to get rid of the ants in the apartment because they're getting bad. Well, I am totally stuck in traffic right out here, waiting just to get onto the main road outside of the Robinson Lipa Mall area. But since traffic's not moving, this is actually a great opportunity to do a shout out. And uh, Percival Mayo, uh, he has a bunch of family. Percival lives in Australia, and uh, I guess he's working there. Maybe working, working and living in Australia. Anyway, uh, uh, the, Percival's family, the Mayo family, is actually here in Lipa. So I want to do a warm shout out to uh, your family, Percival. And you had a birthday. Mm -hmm the end of August, like around the 25th of August. I don't know what the statute of limitation is on shout outs for birthdays, but anyway, happy belated birthday to you. And also a belated birthday wish to Douglas Hill's daughter, uh, Camille Rakal. She turned 24 yesterday on Sunday. Happy birthday, Camille. So anyway, I thought I'd stop by the apartment and I thought I would grab a bite to eat, which I did. I, I had some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So I'd save a little bit of money today. Uh, but then this happened and then after the first thunderbolt struck the ground I had no electricity in the house with no electricity that means I have no water in the house I have plenty of water out here but no water in my house so anyway, I'm gonna head back to Villa Feliz at least mm, I can sit inside the uh, Bajicubo and I can get some work done on the computer there if we have electricity at Villa Feliz So let's see what goes on inside Villa Feliz when it's raining. <laughs> to see is when you're preparing a mud deck uh, they call it a mud deck for your um, wet room and you'll see that the consistency of the cement mix that they're gonna put inside there uh, the mortar mix is going to be uh, uh, drier and so take a look at how they're doing their mix now So the mix, when you, when you hold it in your hand, you should be able to make like a ball out of it. Well, the, the rain stopped for just a little bit. So we're down, you can see we're starting to do some of the tiling on the floor in the basement, in the CR specifically. And uh, 
So I'm standing outside and I told you, I have a calibrated eye. I can see when anything is off. So there's the, they're doing a totally different mm, technique of laying tiles than I do. Uh, I do bathroom renovations and in the US, we lay our mud deck first. We allow our mud deck to dry. Then after the mud deck is dried, after 24 hours, then we go inside and we'll put the thin set that we needed to, the, uh, the, the mixture that you use to apply the tile to the mud deck, we put that after the fact. We make sure we have all of our slope that we need uh, for, the, uh, for the mud deck first uh, to go properly to the drain. And then we do the, the next layer on top of that, which is the, uh, the application adhesive that goes underneath the, the tiling. And, and then you make sure everything's level and you continue to have your grade to get all your water to the, uh, to the drain. Well, they don't, I don't know if this is the way they do it all over the Philippines because this is the, my first experience with another contractor doing this in the Philippines. And uh, as you can see, they're putting the, the mud deck, the mud deck's not even dry yet. And, uh, and then they're putting the adhesive uh, to the tile and then you're laying it in row by row by row. They're not doing the entire uh, mud deck first, which is what I do. Um, uh, we'll, we'll see uh, um, if that's the way they do it up here and it works. That's great, but that's not what I'm used to doing. Uh, so we'll we'll look and hopefully we don't have any problem with broken tiles and we have good drainage inside here. Uh, but getting back to the, the eyeballing, I, I looked I looked straight down, straight down the, uh, uh, the, the, the corridor going into the CR and I saw the and I could see it was off. I could see it was on angle, and it was a small, it was small angle off. So what you do is you measure. They have a a, uh, a line laid inside it, and they follow that line. And the line was off a little over half a centimeter inside there. But I could see that half a centimeter from one end to the other end. And he measured it, and then he adjusted the half a centimeter, and then he went back and looked at it. And now he's laying the tiles properly. But that would have driven me crazy. Had I opened the door to the Sierra and I looked down there, and I and I know that the tiling's off even by a half a centimeter. That's me. So anyway, I think our roofing guys bailed. I think I saw them take off a little while ago, and uh, it's only like mm, 2:45, and it's 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 all it's all getting back dry again. So we're losing another mm, several hours of a day. Um, because of rain when it comes to the roof. Uh, but they, I kind of wish they would have just hung around a little bit instead of bailing right after the... Uh, we had one big rain, it's gone. Every, everybody's back to work again, except for the roofers. You're probably wondering what my electrician is doing. Why are we cutting more holes in the wall and moving wires around? Well, the reason is, remember the cabinet maker came over the other day, and uh, the cabinet maker asked me a question. And the question was, do you want all your LED light switches for underneath your cabinets, the one that goes above the countertop? Do you want them behind uh, the cabinet, underneath the cabinet, where you click it where it's hidden, or do you want it where you can see it in a switch? And I said, let's put it in a switch here. Because if, if you have somebody who's visiting your house and they don't know where those switches are up underneath the cabinets, you don't want them sticking their head up underneath there poking around for you. Let's make it obvious on the wall and, and we'll embed it uh, in there with the other switches and it will look fine and it'll be obvious, it'll be an obvious choice. And uh, so it was here and we are going to move it from here down to this spot right here. And the same with these because it's, those are the ones for the power. It's going to be power for the microwave and power for the oven. Uh, the, the, uh, the routing of the wires are a little bit too low because that's where the backsplash is going to be. So we need to make sure that those are hidden uh, behind the backsplash, up in the cabinet area where the actual microwave is and down below where the oven's going to be. So they're making a correction on that as well. So installing the door jam <coughs> between the lanai uh, in bedroom number one and the, the dining room.
Well, anyway, it is the end of the workday, and uh, everybody's getting all cleaned up right now. Now, uh, let's just kind of try to do a capture of what happened. I don't even know what happened today, because I was gotten half the day. You know, the traffic downtown was absolutely horrible, uh, trying to get everything I need to do with the banks. I do not know what got accomplished up on the roof, and I'm not climbing up to take a look. <laughs> But they were here for every day, so something got done today, and hopefully it's going to be a good day tomorrow. Uh, you notice our columns here in the sunroom to the dining room, and now I have a skim coat on it. It's starting to get light in here again. You see that? That got done. Today also, we got some electrical work corrected inside the kitchen area in preparation for our cabinetry that we won't see for at least another couple months. But I will tell you right now, I received a phone call, and what is it? Today is Monday and uh wednesday morning they want me to up there to up in alabang at uh, kelly to take a look at the 3d cad drawing of the uh three-dimensional view of what they're proposing for the kitchen set so that might be interesting we might go up there wednesday we might go up there thursday i'm not really sure uh but in the next two to three days we will take a ride up to alabang take a look at that uh you will see uh, how you like our arch that we have uh, that arch was uh, pulled down uh, yesterday. The the form for it, and they use it for this form over here, and it's still um, got the form work up on it. So uh, they'll be pulled down probably tomorrow. I did notice they were working inside this room. Oh yeah, they started the uh, the, the skim coat on the 45 degree angles of it here on all of the walls inside this bedroom, and they were cleaning a little bit. I saw them doing some cleaning on the ledge out here today. Oh, they were cleaning on the ledge because it looks like they were, I don't know what they're doing out here, to be honest with you. I have no idea. Also, you saw we got a new door jam. It's not installed yet, but it's kind of uh, just bit in preparation. And this is the door jam for the laundry room. And they will do the final, uh, looks like maybe, maybe they do have it plumbed already. I don't know. And uh, maybe the cement will be f uh, filled in all tomorrow for that. I did notice though, we lost a little bit of ironing board space. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to put the ironing board here. Remember, this was the ironing board wall. I don't think it's gonna happen. Uh, when they, they took out about five inches of wall today here, they pulled out about this much wall and chipped it back to fit the, the door jam inside there. Uh, Hun, I think we're gonna lose our ironing board space. We're, we're gonna have to find some kind of alternative for that. Uh, we'll see, what, we'll, we'll come up with something. But remember, this was the light switch, and this was the outlet for the iron. Uh, well, maybe we might have just a folding ironing board inside there. And then, then again, maybe we'll use that electrical outlet for um, maybe like an iPad or something like that. So while ironing is being done, watch some TV from inside there. And in this doorway, uh, where the jam, they put the jam in earlier, but they had to do a lot of chipping here. So they're still doing some chipping to, to make uh, this door jam fit inside this space right here. Uh, so they were working on that as well today. And as I expected, uh, in, in, in 30 minutes, we got uh, this section right here done. One, two, three over here. They'd already had these pieces in, all right. So one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, something like that. I don't know. They got they got several of them done. Uh, this will be finished up tomorrow. And um, let's see, today's Monday. By Wednesday, we will have a floor. And I imagine on Wednesday, they will start on the wall tiles inside here as well. That's a nice looking uh, floor. I like that wood pattern. And let's not forget back here, <laughs> we are very close to pouring concrete for the top of the cistern. It looks like they got all the formwork in, except for this one little tiny corner right down here. And once they get that done, this is the manhole cover over there. And we will have a lid <laughs> for our cistern. That's not, that should be taken care of. I imagine that will get poured tomorrow. Oh, also, uh, two of the, uh, the columns for the fence poles, one there on that corner and one over there on that corner there. So we have two uh, fence poles, uh, columns that are installed right now. They'll pull the forms, and I don't see too many of the uh, the form work. So they're probably gonna... so we have we have 19 footage in place. So that's like about uh, 10 10 days worth of uh, if you, we only have two of the form work for that. So 
it'll get there when it gets there. Also, tomorrow, this muddy mess could possibly be a bunch of this stuff right here. <laughs> I'm supposed to have a delivery tomorrow of 10, uh, 10 pieces of sod uh, to make this less of a money. Can you see it's a mess? It's a mess right here right now. So I'm hoping that gets done tomorrow. So that's another thing on the schedule, maybe. So anyway, I'm gonna close for today. And oh, I, I, have a, I have a couple of stories to tell from yesterday. I need to fit these into today's video. So yesterday, yesterday was Sunday, and I went downtown and I got some roast chicken from one of the roast chicken stands for lunch. And I stopped at a bakery and I got this really nice loaf of uh, really good bread from a bakery outside of the subdivision where my, uh, my Asawa, my wife's family has a family home there. And uh, I was coming home yesterday and sometimes I stop at the, when I go to the grocery store, you see me shopping and I'll pick up candy for the kids in the neighborhood. Uh, and I keep promising that the next time I go to the grocery store, but I forgot like the last two times I went to the grocery store to get them some candy. So yesterday, all I had in my bag when I was going home, all I had was a, uh, uh, my chicken, which was done. And I, and I had like two pieces of bread that I'd eaten out of that for, for lunch. And I had the whole loaf of red. And I'm going home and, and, the, whole, and the whole neighborhood, kids, they, they all gang up on me. And it's like, do you have candy? Do you have candy? And I'm like, no, I didn't have it. All I have is some bread. This is all I have. I said, do you want bread? And they're like, yeah, we want bread. <laughs> I'm like, really? You want bread? <laughs> so I went from the whole loaf. And when I got home, I had two pieces, <laughs> two pieces of bread left over once I got back to the house. Okay. Also, I'll say on the way home. The same group of kids. Uh, one one of the uh, kids from the neighborhood. His name is John, and he he watches he watches my PI dream on his little tablet device. He has a, a Samsung tablet, some kind. I don't know what kind of tablet. I'm not a I'm an Apple guy. I don't know anything about Samsung. Well, anyway, he uh, he he came up to me yesterday, and he's like, he said. Uh, I, I, what episode are you on? I said, you should know, John, you should know what episode I'm on. You always watch the videos. What episode? He said, no, I said, my, uh, my, my tablet is broken. My brother, uh, did something bad to it. He dropped it or something like that. I'm like, what? And I said, can it be fixed? He said, uh, yeah, but I don't think they have the money. So I think what I'll do is I'll get with him and his grandmother and we'll try to find a repair shop for the tablet and we'll get a fix. He is such a kind boy. So anyway, anyway, uh, the, the, ki the kids are like, oh, can we, can we see uh, your house being built and stuff like that? So let me show you a quick scene from that little episode showing the kids the, uh, uh, the My PI Dream video. Stand by. Let's watch. Let's continue watching the video. All right. Ready? <laughs> well, anyway, I'm going to close for today. Uh, tomorrow is mm, Tuesday, and it's going to be build day 167. It's build day 167 on a construction schedule out here at Villa Feliz. And uh, hopefully it's a dry day. Hopefully the roofing team is in place. Hopefully we get the rest of the... Uh, the tile work done on the floor in the CR in the basement and all kind of good stuff here. I hope I hope uh, And it all depends on whether it's going to be dry or not. So until tomorrow if you enjoyed today's video uh, If you found it informative if you found it the least bit entertaining, please give me a thumbs up Please share and if you have not subscribed just click on that little my PI dream heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen And you will be a subscriber and you will get notified each time I upload a daily video. So until tomorrow, you have a wonderful day.